Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for tonight's main event. 12 rounds in the welterweight division between these two great warriors. Manny Pacquiao is on his way to the ring, and you can just tell what kind of night he intends this to be. He's just brimming with confidence. Mays coming down to the ring right now, and he does so with a certain gamesmanship, putting forth that attitude to his opponent, telling him, I'm the man, and I know it. You know, as long as he doesn't go way out of his way. But don't forget, this is a guy that, you know, you could have thought of as a jockey. Yeah, he started at 106 pounds. Yeah, I mean, he's so small and he keeps growing, he keeps getting bigger. But I love his attitude. I mean, that's the first thing. I mean, for me, everyone looks at all the physical things. For me, his, one of his greatest, if not his greatest talent, is his attitude, his temperament. You know, he thinks like a fighter. And not just a guy who's going to go hit you, but a guy that has to make adjustments when he has to. And his hand speed, terrific hand speed. This kind of punch is going to have a hard time tonight with that hand speed of Pacquiao. Good block by Money. Took a shot, now he gives a left. <laughs> by money. When you watch him fight, you'll notice that he really jumps in and lunges. But as he does, he's throwing two, three, four punches at a time. Yeah, well, he doesn't mind taking chances. And he's either going to burn you or you're going to burn him. But he has the speed, for the most part, to get away with it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Seconds remaining in this round. Manny Pacquiao is going with a quality that I think is very underrated in boxing. That is to be judicious, to really think about when, how, and make the most of each thing you're doing. His punch rate, very, very effective in terms of his percentage landed. Yeah, he's throwing educated punches. You know, he's not wasting anything. He's making everything count for... Just as importantly, everything's leading to something else. You know, he's working the body one moment, and that's leading up to some head attack later on. So he's planning everything out like a smart fighter, a guy that understands the street science. Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. Now, this is just beautiful to watch. Watch how he just links one to the next, Teddy. A beautiful sequence, almost like musical notes being played. Well, exactly. It's a nice tool because it just follows. One, as you said, follows the other. Nice and smooth. <laughs> Halfway through this round here. started at 106 pounds and then rose up and won a super phantom weight belt but it really wasn't until november of 2003 when he claimed the featherweight title and detailing marco antonio barrera that he became that big spotlight kind of star and yeah, that was his coming out party so to speak that's when the world found out just who and what manny pacquiao was Let's look at the punch stat numbers where you can see a big edge in the volume punching from the Filipino. So Pacquiao wants to bring punches in dozens, not one or two at a time. Here we go with the fourth round. showing off a real boxing IQ in that last round. Just 